How's it going, Short Kings? It has been half a year since we last saw the Dwarves play football, but with the current situation in the world's in, I figured I could use the extra time that I have to bring this series back a little bit more regularly. Now I'm going to just try to keep it to maybe one or two episodes a week, something that I can uh, be more consistent with. And I have maybe a little twist to bring to this team at the end of the season. Regardless, let's go ahead and work ourselves through week eight. Uh, as we can see, we're on the road against a four and one Southern Miss as we are five and one. And in the recruiting game, we are still in a battle with a couple of good corners. And then it's a lot of running backs and corners. Now I did go ahead and look, everybody that is on the board at this point is everybody that we can get. Um, we are not able to add any more short players onto the board so hopefully we're able to lock some guys up here uh currently we have the one recruit committed in our punter josh timmons who honestly could be very clutch it's probably not going to be easy for us to find special teams players now if we look at the positions available to us we can see that uh there's corners <laughs> there's wide receivers there's running backs and there's fullbacks so the fullbacks uh, we're going to go pretty gung-ho in and trying to get them. I'm not so sure if uh, Robert Schroeder is going to be possible, but Antoine Copeland is better. Um, and my thought process here is that fullbacks are most likely going to be the guys who make the best offensive linemen. We will have to get lucky finding players who can throw the ball, and defense is going to be uh, a crapshoot. So we're going to go ahead and put some points into some corners try and see if we can find something for our defense and that's going to do it for our recruiting for this week if we take a look at the scouting report we can see uh southern miss looks like they're ready to bop us uh but kirk herbstreet's gonna assume that we're gonna win this and, and pull in our favor i think that i might have to agree with him i haven't played with this team in a long time but i have still been playing this uh, by the way twitch.tv slash goonmaster if you want to see uh some more consistent gameplay these guys are on a two win streak with their one loss coming against a three and four western kentucky they did a good job beating a mediocre purdue and uh, a bad mississippi state or maybe i guess a me mediocre mississippi state and a mediocre byu uh we seem to be along with utep uh, the the most successful team on their schedule and hopefully we can be the one to throw another loss their way meanwhile as a reminder of what we're dealing with this has been an incredibly close season uh close games all the way through uh overtime win against a good western arizona and an overtime loss against a very good tcu we're gonna be wearing our standard away uniforms for this game and we can see no shaky bars thankfully in southern miss's favor uh 81 overall with an 81 offense and 83 defense for them meanwhile we're at our 75 77 76 so uh with how i guess small of a gap this is i think that we got to be pretty confident here this southern miss team seems to be pretty above average both on offense and defense and unfortunately for us they're looking like they might get carried by this <laughs> running back i smith 93 overall um with a pretty solid free safety and corner so we're gonna have a hard time throwing in our run and shoot and uh hopefully the defensive line can contain their running game with this coin toss we're gonna go ahead and choose tails because uh, we all know tails never fails and since we win it we're gonna go ahead and kick this ball off get the ball to start the second half our adjustments have been made and Jolly's gonna go ahead and boot this one away and it's a pretty mediocre kick let's see if we can prevent a good return uh not quite they get 30 yards they're almost at the 35 yard line coming out in our 4-3 they're gonna go to the air and uh they've got a man wide open jones has the easy easy catch there for 24 yards southern miss is in the hurry up right now and Ito Smith off to the races Powell's lucky to bring him down but just like that another 20 yards this is gonna be tough it's gonna be another run on this first down and uh thankfully we don't give up you know 20 plus 
Second and six, another handoff. We were almost there. We forced Ito to cut back, but now he's got a first and goal. On this first down, they're going to go with a draw. Benjamin was there. I don't know if we got credited with the tackle, but second and goal now. Second and goal. It's another handoff. Frederick. Oh, I just missed. We could have had him in the backfield. We do have a third and goal, though, as Ito picks up another three yards. Uh, backup running back in on this third and goal. They will hand it off. The cutback's there, and we got the stop. Oh, wow. Lester just popped him just short of the goal line, and Gabe Holland was able to come in and get the stop, finish the tackle, and we'll somehow hold these guys to a field goal. So after what I'm going to consider a pretty solid defensive stop, we're going to bring out Nunez and see if the magic can be there. Oh, it's just a mediocre return, but we will get 34 there. I got to remember that these guys have some uh, strong players in the secondary, but do they have the speed as we find G Nunez? That was a weird route, but we get him for 13 yards. We'll give this one to Irby on the second first down and trying to be patient. We'll follow the blockers, cut it back, and we're almost to midfield. Second and four, we'll go read option. And we've got Flanagan, but Howard can't manage to find that first down marker. Third and one. We're going to try the QB sneak here on third and one. And oh, Richie got it, no problem. To leave Noel getting this carry, picks up a block and... He's going to be able to fall a little bit forward. Gets four yards. That's a good first down for us. Second and six. We're going to go to the air. I'm going to get outside the pocket, actually. I see guys open all over the place. I just got to be safe with the ball. On another first down, we are going to hand this one off up the middle. And Talib has a lot of room to work with. Nice running. Good blocking. And we almost pick up another first down. We'll continue this running game because it's working really well. And Talib is just mowing them down eight more there we're inside the red zone and on this first and ten richie outside the pocket we got a man on the slant it's mcmillan and somehow kevin holds on to that one first and goal could we take the lead here they're stacked up over the center pretty hard there so we're gonna try a read option and richie's gonna keep it he's got the space and he gets into the end zone touchdown for richie kirk and the Dwarves are able to get into the end zone first of this game. And we're going to take a lead. The defense coming out after getting a stop the last time out. Although, who knows if we're going to get a stop this time. They find Edo Smith quickly for 14 yards. Nearing the end of the first quarter here. They are going to go to the air. And, ooh, we get lucky. Briggs just throws that one away. We're going to try to bring the blitz here on second and 10. And the pressure was there, not quite quick enough. They'll get a man over the middle. That's Jordan Mitchell. And just like that, they're across midfield. Let's see if the man coverage works for us. Oh, not at all. Eno Smith breaks a tackle, and he's to the 30. It really feels like this game's going to come down to... Uh... Oh, wow. What a miss. <laughs> Coming down to our goal line defense. That miss was a little bit embarrassing as they are going to go to the air. Oh. Griggs looking for the end zone. Penn able to knock him down just before. And uh, I think we're going to go into the next quarter. Unless they manage to sneak this in. Let's uh, let's bring a, a big blitz here. Four seconds left in the quarter. It is a handoff. Young just missed. And with one second to go in the first, Edo Smith will find the end zone. Well, to end the first quarter, we're going to see a Gene Nunez kick return, and who knows, maybe it goes the distance. Gene gets some blocks. Oh, <laughs> never mind. He got no blocks. Both guys just burned past him, and uh, at, the end of the, at the end of one, excuse me, we are trailing by three, but I think that we are in a pretty good position in this game. Let's we'll see if we can find some room for Irby to run on this first down, and oh, wow, he got... Kind of sandwich there, only picked up a yard. Second and nine, we'll go to the air and we're gonna find, wow, Khalif James for 11 yards. Great job holding on to that, man. Picking up those first downs is always nice. And, uh, oh, Talib <laughs> got absolutely nothing there. Second 11, we go to the air here. We've got G Nunez over the middle and he's almost got us the first down. On third and one, we are gonna go to the air. They're blitzing. Can we find a man? Khalif James holds on to it through the contact. Oh, man, I miss these clutch receivers. 
Richie Kirk is a miraculous six of six through the air. And Talib getting another five yards. He's having a good running game so far. Second and five play action is going to find Howard Flanagan almost. Oh, that was a bad throw. And uh, well, Richie hasn't seen a pass at the ground yet, but he's now five or six of seven with an interception. I tried to be a hero with that pass, and obviously it didn't work out. And no, I'm not feeling quite as confident about this game. This is another handoff, and ooh, good defense. We're gonna drop back to pass here on second and nine, and oh, that was disastrous. He breaks the tackle. Casey finally brings him down, but Corey Robertson just took them inside the 15. If we don't hold these guys to a field goal, we're definitely in trouble. And let's hope that uh, they make a mistake. Griggs, all the time in the world, finds a man open. Gets four yards, second down. The worst thing about the position that we're in right now is that uh, they can pick up a first down, and look at that. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> we're going to try to bring the blitz. Lester's there. Nice job. That was a perfect timing on that one as they lose a yard. Second and goal now. It is a real shame as he goes into the end zone that we couldn't tackle him backwards. And I guess it doesn't matter because George Payne had no troubles getting into the end zone that time. With any luck, we will score basically with time expiring on the half. And uh, oh gosh, maybe not. Uh, that's a touchdown. That was... Far too easy for Kevin McMillan. <laughs> 76 yards. Richie redeems the pick with a, a one-play touchdown drive. And our boys got some speed. So now we have got to hope for a stop. And if they do manage to score, we're going to have to hope that we can get the ball back in time with a chance for a drive ourselves. Second and eight, they're gonna hand it off for some odd reason. And it's third and four. And I think that we're gonna have a decent chance here. They're not gonna go to the air, or they're not gonna go to the ground, I should say, sorry. And oh, we had the chance to hit uh, Quadro Griggs behind the line to gain. We just couldn't capitalize on it. And oh, that's on me. Oh, they are driving awfully quick, a minute and a half now. At midfield for Southern Miss. And Griggs is going to take off again. He's got a lot of room to work with. A lot of room, and he gets knocked out of bounds. Unfortunately for us, out of bounds at the 35. Griggs seems to have all day in the pocket as uh, Southern Miss moves inside field goal range, and uh, they take their first time out there. A minute 11 to go. Second and three, they go to the air. Griggs taking off again. I try to use her somebody in the general direction, but it's just not working. 19 yards there. First and goal now with a minute and four. We're going to be taking our timeouts. Um, unless they just score right away. <laughs> oh my goodness. We will start this drive just across our own 30, 54 seconds. Three timeouts to work with. And there's Howard Flanagan over the middle. Midfield just like that. This one seems like it could get... Out of hand in a hurry. G. Nunez. Oh, if I would have maybe waited, he could have come free. It's still another first down. 44 seconds. I'm going to be getting outside the pocket with Richie. And let's do a little bit of scrambling and get out of bounds. Save our timeouts. Pick up a couple yards. Second and six. And I'm going to try to force one. We do find Howard Flanagan. He probably should have gone out of bounds, but I was trying to make some heroic play. But it does give us a first down inside the red zone. Clock ticking over the middle. Howard Flanagan, the ball's overthrown, and it's picked off. It went right to the safety. And they get it back with 27 seconds to go. We are going to bring all that we can. And we do hit Ito Smith in the backfield, but it's not quick enough. They're, they're wanting to burn the clock out. I'm looking for a safety. Oh, we hit him at the one. No, they give us the safety. Hands above the head. 20 seconds to go. We get two points, and we're getting the ball back with two timeouts. I think that's a questionable call, but I will absolutely not complain about the result, and Gene Nunez gets to return this as well. Can he get to the edge? Gene, one man to beat. 
Oh, he almost has it across midfield. We have 11 seconds and two timeouts to work with. We are going to get aggressive as hell here with these 11 seconds. And could that be our man, G. Nunez? He can't hold on through the contact. Oh, no. We're going to be looking for the end zone here. And throwing it up. No, we get sacked. I got to take the timeout, and it's Hail Mary time. If only we had a couple more seconds on the clock, this could have been something big. Instead, they're going to bring pressure. G. Nunez, could he have this? He comes... No, he can't come down with it. Two dropped catches from Gene in contact, and we're going to go into the locker rooms. It's, uh... You know, it, what is this, an eight-point game at this point? I think that's math. And, you know, I'm stoked that we got the safety, but... We have two turnovers at this point, and we absolutely should be in the lead. Essentially, this half we need to play almost flawless, and our defense has to get at least one stop. We have some blocks for Gene. Back juke spin. He's breaking some tackles. Somehow we got across the 30, and, you know, Gene is a man of so many talents. He just couldn't hold on to the two uh, passes that mattered there at the end of the half. Here's Howard Flanagan not getting picked off as we throw to him, and we're going to go in the hurry up. At this point, time is not on our side. Howard Flanagan is. Oh, no, he dropped it. <laughs> Forcing these throws, and they're almost working out. Third and three. We're going to look for a quick throw, and oh, no. I am so lucky that one's not picked off. I don't know what I'm doing there. I almost feel like I have to go for this on fourth down and go for it. We will. There's Norton, and we're across midfield. That should be a face mask at the end of the play. Are they going to call it? No, the refs don't want to help us anymore. Both teams seemingly able to move the ball at will, and uh, we're just going to continue that trend as we find Gene over the middle again. Giving this one to Talib, and he'll get three yards. That was a good uh, stretch of the arm to pick up those extra couple of yards there. Irby comes in as the halfback for this second and seven, and on the slot outs, we were going to look for him, but Howard Flanagan has the first down a little bit more. Gets us inside the red zone. It's screen time, and we've got Khalif James. He's got some blocking, and it's a first and goal. Ooh, that screen worked real well. They're not really going to bring some pressure. I'm still going to get outside the pocket. And can we find our man? No, he stopped running. What are we doing, Howard? Oh, Howard Flanagan stops running, and I think that might be the game. If he would have continued towards the sideline, I think we would have had him on the slant route. Instead, it looks like we intended to throw a pick there. First and 10 now for these guys. And, oh, well, that was a really good pass breakup, but I don't know if we can get a stop. Bring in the safety blitz on this second 10. They will go to the air. Quarterback's going to have to scramble. He gets hurt or hit. And uh, we do get the sack. It's a loss of two. We'll be in the cover two buck here on third and 12. And there's another sack. Oh, Griggs just got obliterated. And we did get our stop. We just got blessed. It's an absolute blessing on that stop as we're going to force this punter from or to kick it from his own end zone. And Gene is going to field it inside the 50. I didn't make much of the return, but we've got good field position to work with. So just when I think it's all over, the defense steps up and makes a play. And ooh, look at the downfield blocking that Gene gets there. That was awesome. First down, we're going to put it on the ground. And Talib rumbles his way for a first and goal. Man, our running game is something else today, isn't it? First and goal going to Talib again. He's got some blocking. He's going to stumble forward inside the five. And second and goal. We have only five yards to go to maybe tie this one up. This is incredibly risky. But we're looking for Gene Nunez on the screen. And we're going to lose a couple of yards. I should have never thrown that ball. We just saw an injury update on the bottom of the screen. You won't believe it. There is a big injury for Southern Miss. Thankfully not for us. We knocked out Griggs. A foot fracture out for the rest of the season. Maybe coming back for a bowl game, but that is devastating for Southern Miss. Really good for us in the rest of this game, but you hate to see it. 
third and goal we're gonna go to the air and hopefully something comes with it and i'm so fucking bad at this game it's another pick four turnovers in a one score game what are we doing we're gonna bring the pressure here we almost got another safety what are the odds that we can make this a six point game second and 16 we're bringing the house again if they sneak through, they sneak, sneak through, and oh, they will. This might be enough for the touchdown. I'm going for the strip ball. We won't get it. Dave Scott gets 37 yards. We weren't quite ready for the snap on that one. It would have been incredible from the defense to pick up that second safety, but it's not meant to be today. First and 10. They are going to go with the screen. And Powell just dropped the easy pick six. Oh, no. We cannot seem to get a good string of things going in our favor today. As uh, we will force the third down, but I don't feel too confident on this one. Third and one, they're gonna go to the air. Guys open all over the place, that's me. That is absolutely on me. I should have been able to stop him. Instead, it's another first down. First and 10. Quarterback scrambling, I miss him the first time. He fumbles the ball, they are lucky to pick it up. Oh, we were going intentionally for the strip, it just didn't work. And we're gonna get called for the face mask. Never in my life have things been so close to going right, but just not quite happening. First down, they're gonna hand it off, and this has almost gotta be a touchdown, right? One broken tackle, a second broken tackle, almost. That he's down at the inch line. First and goal. End of the third quarter. Four interceptions. And we just can't seem to put it in the end zone. This game seemed like it was going to be incredibly high scoring, but uh, we just keep making mistakes. First and goal. We bring it, brought in the speed package in the goal line. And ooh, I don't know if that was just a drop pass or what, but, you know, they're not scoring right away. Second and goal, expecting a run up the middle, it is. And we're going to hit him and barely keep him short. It's actually considered a one-yard loss. Expecting this one to be a run up the middle. No, it won't be, but we get pressure. He finds him, and how did Jordan Mitchell stay in bounds? Oh, wow, what a grab. A dropped pick six. A missed pickup on the forced fumble. And a failure to stop him on third and goal. We had plenty of chances as Gene Nunez gets us to midfield. Plenty of chances to keep them from scoring and just couldn't quite do it. So it's now the fourth quarter, down two scores. I'm feeling a little bit worried. We have a man open. Can we find McMillan? Just overthrown again, Richie. Oh, just a hair off that ball and it's a touchdown. Just praying that somebody gets open and over the middle, we had Kevin McMillan and Richie just misses him by a mile. He started so hot and now he is ice cold. Going four verts again on this third and 10. I'm gonna get outside the pocket. We could potentially scramble for this, but I'm gonna try to heave it up and no. Hit as we're throwing, it's fourth and 10 and we have to go for this. Absolutely zero clutch factor from us today. Unless James holds on to it that was a weird animation somehow he's running the other way but we do convert and i gotta be hurry up from the, here on out don't i outside the pocket again b's wide open can we find him gene nunez in the end zone it's another pick oh my god you gotta be kidding me five turnovers we had gene nunez absolutely wide open the ball was just well under thrown the man had a good return on it as well. This has to be the worst performance of all time. We had so many opportunities to clutch up in this game and we haven't taken a single one of them. I honestly don't know what the hell to do at this point. I am praying for uh, some sort of turnover at this point, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. Marks does get the tackle there. It's a touchdown saving tackle, but it's just not enough. I'm going to continue to bring a ridiculous amount of pressure. 
in this game. We're going to be blitzing, hoping to cause some sort of problem with the defense or with the offense, and they're going to go with a screen. Nobody reacts in time. I just completely whiffed, and we can't strip the ball from Edo Smith, so another first and goal in this game. Seems like it's in the bag for Southern Miss. Oh, that's so frustrating. Five interceptions. Five interceptions. The first half was absolutely beautiful, as, yes, I have just resigned myself to throwing four verts for the rest of the game. Oh, man. We, we absolutely should have won this game. Um, just couldn't clutch up when it mattered, and... That's going to be another pick, isn't it? Oh, my God. We just can't seem to do it. There's Khalif James. We did hit him in stride. Well, it's not quite over yet. I don't think he's scoring a touchdown. But he gets awfully close. And it's 4.05 to go. We will just continue to go in the hurry up and hope for the best here. Second and 10 now. Outside the pocket. Carpenter. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, I'm gonna throw like 10 more picks by the time this game's over. Looking for G Nunez here? No, we get sacked fourth and a mile. Yeah. I. What can we do? At this point, I think any uh, North Main State fans should be headed for the exits because they're not likely to see their team win, although we do find Durbin and we do score on that one. Nice job, Phil. I just don't know if there's quite enough time. 327, two timeouts left. We'll go for two to try to make this a 14-point game, and Richie should just be able to scramble in. That was uh, questionable coverage. And now it's onside kick time. That was decent power. Jolly bounces it perfectly past a couple of guys, but unfortunately, it was a little bit too far. We are going to do whatever we can here to uh, strip the ball. Although, <laughs> if they're just going to score every play, I guess it doesn't matter. It's frustrating because at this point, we know it's going to Edo Smith, and we still can't seem to stop it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. I forgot who I was supposed to cover. First and ten. Lobbing this one up for Gene. Maybe he comes down with it. Maybe he doesn't. <laughs> yes. Pick number six. He's, this guy's going to return it, isn't he? Please do not be a pick six. We can't afford that much. Well, that's absolutely GG's unless we can force a quick turnover. And we're going to be trying to strip the ball and go for the big hits. How is that not a block in the back is my question. Is uh, He knows. Just going to pick up a million more yards here at the end of the game. It's another play where we know exactly what's going to happen, but it's just, you know, when when is it going to actually matter? We're bringing the big blitz on every single play here. If it works, it works, but, I mean, at this point, they're burning clock, and I don't think there's really much that we can do other than jump the snap. And that's not even enough. <laughs> Trying to strip the ball. Don't get the uh, the ball loose, so we'll have to take our first or second timeout. It's third and goal. They're going to hand it off, and of course, their blocking is absolutely impeccable. And Udo Smith goes in for uh, what is that? Touchdown number 37 for him on the day. This second half has been my least favorite thing of 2020, and I think that tells you something. Um, this has been atrocious. Continue with the four verts theme. We're going to see if anybody opens up. In fact, uh, Richie's got a lot of room to work with. Another first down to work with. Another play where we go outside the pocket. And we've got Howard Flanagan. And he had a block if Gene could have just got in front of him. But we'll take the 24 yards. Well, to top it all off, Richie now has a mild concussion. Which means William Pruitt gets to finish this game off for us. And I gotta say, I don't think this is gonna go our way. We're gonna start it with a screen. And I couldn't even get it off in time. <laughs> we had so much room to work with. Third and 10, trying to throw one up. We do have Penn open. And Rick Penn manages to get inside the five. 
Well, one thing I'm not doing for sure is giving up, and I just hit the wrong button. I meant to hit Y, I hit X, and we should have had a touchdown there. Second and goal. Touchdown. Nice job, Luther. That was actually a good throw for once, and we didn't throw an interception. <laughs> First onside kick attempt for this massive comeback, and so oh, it actually bounced and hit a guy, but they're gonna pick it up. That's a uh, that's game, and so uh, they're gonna take the knee. Good game, Southern Miss. Not really. We played absolutely terribly. Uh, not really the way that we wanted to come back to this series. <laughs> some. Really good gameplay in the in the first half, all things considered, and then just pure garbage in the second half. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should have just stayed in the locker room at halftime. Well, that game was definitely not what we were looking for. Um, we end with 415 through the air, but we could look at that 284 rushing yards allowed, and then the six turnovers. Uh, it's. <laughs> Inside, I hurt quite badly. Uh, Kevin McMillan is our offensive player of the game. Devin Marks, the defensive player of the game. And, and Devin had a, a really good game. Uh, but just as a team, we didn't quite have it. Couldn't put it together. Well, that was rough. Let's, uh, let's advance the week and see if maybe we get some good news in terms of recruits. Well, little bit of a silver lining. Nathan Irons and John Wilson will level up to three uh, for both of them. Chris Brown will commit, so we get a little bit of talent. We can move points elsewhere. Uh, some guys ready to, uh, well, half of the world ready to visit. And Coach Disco is getting very close to leveling up again. So one more thing that will uh, help us out. I, you know, I'm not excited about playing this 6-0 Marshall uh, that as always has almost every category in their favor and we're now down to a negative uh, 22 in the turnover differential this season so <laughs> gosh that'll be interesting we are however going to save all that fun for the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching I, I really do appreciate it Again, going to try to be more consistent um, once or twice a week with the uploads on this series or, or other series, but uploads on the channel, I should say. And if for some reason you want to watch some more of me, um, you can go ahead and head on over to our Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, um, or you can follow us on Twitter, maybe join the Discord, you know, maybe hit subscribe, who knows? Thanks one more time for watching. Regardless, you guys are the Short Kings. I'm Goodmaster, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.